All right, friends, we are ready to create our animation. We're going to use Google Slides for that. So you can see here I am inside of Google Drive, and I'm going to create a new slideshow in my Google Drive. So you click that New button and Slides, and you can see that I am opening up a new tab with a blank slideshow in it. We're going to spend just a couple of minutes cleaning up the screen so that we have a nice area to work in. So I would ask you to please close that themes box to make a little bigger work area here. We're also going to close the speaker notes down here. So if you go up to the menu that says view and uncheck next to the words show speaker notes, then that goes away and we have a nice clean work area here. We're going to quickly get rid of these two boxes. Simply click on the box, click that backspace key to make that disappear, and we're ready to go. We need a title for sure. And so let's call this Swimming Fish. You may use any title you like. Mine's going to be called Swimming Fish. And we're ready for our background. Now we're going to have the same background on every slide, and so we just need to go get it. So you want to right click on your slide, and you will see the words change the background. And we're going to go choose an image, and the image that we just created is in our Google Drive, so click Google Drive. And in fact, we just had that open recently, so if you go to the Recent tab, it should be right there, and there is our beautiful background that we just created. So once you select that, that blue button, and click Done, and there is your background ready to go. All right, and we're also ready to go get our fish and put him in there. So he's not a background, he's an image, so we're going to put him in a different way. We can either go to this Insert tab and go to Image, or we can go to this little icon right here, click that little shark's tooth down there, and we're going to upload our fish from Google Drive. Once again, click Drive. And here's our fish. I'm just going to click on him one time, and then click the words Insert to put him on the slide. So you can say he see that he plopped right down in the middle of the slide. We want to do a couple of things here. One is you can see that box that he's in is really large. We're going to crop the box so it's really close to the fish. So this is the cropping tool. You want to click that cropping tool <clears throat> and bring the edges of that box in as close to your fish as you can get them. There we go. Okay, much easier to work with. Then you click that cropping button one more time, and that box is cropped. Now, I'm going to adjust the size of my fish because I think he looks a little big in that aquarium. And let me move him around a little bit, pick him up and move him, see how he looks. He looks pretty good. I might make him even a little smaller. All right, we're ready. So we're going to have him swim across the screen. So we're going to start our fish swimming way, way, way over here. So we're really going to drag him off the slide altogether. All right. Now, the key to working quickly and efficiently to make this video is you're going to use a keystroke to duplicate your slides. And so first of all, I'm going to go over here to slide number one, click on it. It's selected. You can see the yellow box around the outside. And the keystroke that we use to duplicate is Control D. So I'm going to click Control D, and you will see what we have done is we have created a exact twin of our first slide, and now we're ready to start moving our fish. So I'm going to pick them up and drag them a little bit, and go back over here, click slide number two, and what's my keystroke? Control D. And once again, pick up my fish and drag him. Duplicate my slide. And we want our fish to look like he's realistically swimming, so we want to move him up and down just a little bit on each movement so that he looks like a real fish and doesn't go straight across the screen. So I went up a little bit on that one. 
and we're going to duplicate again and keep him swimming. I want to show you a cool little trick. Let's say we want to have two fish instead of one. Well, remember Control D for duplicate? Well, we can duplicate our fish. So we can get a second fish coming across our seascape. So I have the fish selected, not the frame, but the fish. I'm going to use that duplicate keystroke. And you can see that I have a second fish right here. So he needs to be, uh, once again, off my screen. The other thing that I can do, and this is super cool, we're going to grab this fish and make him go the other direction. So I'm going to hold the toggle that's on the left-hand end of my fish, and I'm going to swipe across my screen and turn my fish the other way. And now I'm going to drag this guy over here. He's going to start off the screen. And I'm going to go back to my process of duplicating my screen and then clicking and dragging the fish. And I need to move each fish every time I duplicate. Move two fish and duplicate. Move fishy number one and fishy number two, and duplicate the slide. Okay, so you can see I've skipped ahead a little bit. I have 32 slides created. I've been following the same process. I'm continuing to have my fish swim. And this guy's getting ready to swim right off the screen, and that's okay because he's going to disappear from our view. And we're going to continue to make those fishy swim right off the screen. Now, if you do something that you didn't mean to do, for example, if you accidentally click Control D right now and you realize, oh no, I've got a third fish, what should I do? Well, there is a super, super handy keystroke. It's Control Z, and that'll let you undo what you just did. So keep clicking Control Z until you get it back to the, what you wanted it to look like, and then continue on moving the fish and duplicating the slides. And we're almost ready to animate this thing. All right, that is good. Okay, we have 44 slides. That is plenty, and you can see that really didn't take that long. Um, we are ready to go ahead and animate these slides, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, to animate our slides, we are going to do something called publishing to the web. So up here under the file menu, you're going to find the words publish to the web near the bottom of that pop-out tab. And you're going to click those words. We're going to make a few changes here. The first change is we're going to click this menu down and choose every second. We want our video to loop and we want it to play as soon as we publish it. And so check both of those boxes. Click the word publish, asking me if I'm sure, and of course I am sure. Now, your screen's telling you what to do. Press Control C to copy that web address. So Control C, and I've got my web address copied. Now I'm gonna go up here and open a new tab. I'm gonna paste that URL into the Omni box, and I'm going to use the keystroke Control V to paste that in there. Don't click that enter key just yet, though. Do you see that where it says 1000 at the end of that address? I want you to click the backspace and take the war take the number 1000 out of there, and we're going to replace that with a little bit lower number. We're going to go with 222 for our slideshow, and that's just going to give us a little bit more realistic um, timing between the slides. So uh, two tenths of a second rather than a full second between each slide. And if you're ready to see what our animation looks like, you now click the enter button on your keyboard 
and our slideshow should launch. And here comes our fishies swimming across the screen. And it should loop right around and happen again. All right. Awesome. Successful. Super fun. Super cool. Super creative. Enjoy.